Hello, Ian. Hello, Brad. How are we today? I'm good. This is a brand new game for me. I have no idea what this is at all. This is Splendor. Um, this is originally a real-life um, board game that has been made digitally. Digitally, rather. Um, basically, it's from the team behind Ticket to Ride. Oh, no. uh, which was a very, very good conversion of board game to a video game. I'm aware of it. I know a lot of people played it, but yeah. I didn't play it myself. Um, this is something I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say overly passionate about, but I would like to see more of, is just proper board games, um, the, especially these indie board game type things, made digitally. Uh, because I just think... It will allow more people to play them with other people. Um, especially if you've got the actual board game. It'd be nice to then not have to get everyone in the same room and play with each other and things like that. Well, that, that's the thing. I've None of my real-life friends are... They, none of them even play video games, let alone board games. So it's very different. Like, I've got stacks of board games, but yeah. no one to actually play them with. Oh, yeah. That, that's, my, that's my problem. I've got... My son plays a lot of them, but again, it's trying to find time when we can all sit down and play. So the idea of making them um, on you know, as video games, I think, is a great idea, especially if they've got online play. Um, but I've never played Splendor. Um, so the idea of these blind looks um, is obviously to see you know, how these games play. And I think especially with a game like this, how easy it is for a complete beginner to come into something like this where it's going to have some kind of uh, learning arc to it. Well, I guess going to click on learn to play. That's where we'll go. And hopefully this is an interactive tutorial. So we'll jump in here first. Okay, so seems like it will be. So we've got three decks of development cards with the most common on the bottom, level two and three cards above them, and each of them getting progressively more rare. De these decks contain 20 level three cards, 30 level two cards, and 40 level one cards. Okay. Four development cards from each deck are placed in the lines on the table. Click on the screen to draw them. Okay, so that's the layout. I assume this will now explain to us what the numbers are. Oh, no, we get tokens. We've got diamond tokens, sapphires, emerald root okay so we've got different types of tokens and i'm guessing the diamond tokens no the onyx tokens are probably worth the most and we get gold tokens as well okay number of tokens in each well depends on the number of players okay Okay. Okay. So this is a card game. I was expecting a board game. This is one of those... <laughs> I see a lot of board games now have moved into... They use cards and tokens and stuff like that. They are, rather than being your traditional card games, they are board games which use cards instead of boards. 15 prestige points, you earn points by purchasing development cards and earning noble tiles, okay. Prestige points are found here, okay. your turn you must select only one of the following four actions 
First bottle of wax should take three gem tokens of different colours, okay. Player cannot have more than ten tokens. There you got it, okay. Take two gem tokens of the same colour. Okay. Okay. Do these gems buy the cards? Where these ones here, where the arrow, where the finger is. Yeah. Do these do these gems buy cards? That's what it seems like. Yes. Because I assume the gems on the actual cards signify what ones you can buy, or. Yeah. So I'm assuming if we look down at the bottom here. There's this diamondy card, and it looks like if you've got, what well, I would say, one onyx, two sapphire, and two emerald, you can take that card by the looks of it. I would say take them. So we've taken those, and we can end our turn. Okay. Third possible action reserve a card. Take any visible development cards, you'll also collect the gold token at the same time. We'll turn to live if you feel like you may draw the first card from okay. That's gonna have more than three reserved cards. The only way to get rid of a reserved card is to actually purchase it. Okay. Yep, okay. Okay. Right, so you get a bonus. Okay. These bonuses give you discounts on future car purchases. Each bonus is worth a permanent token of that same colour. If you want to purchase this card, you would only spend one emerald token and one onyx because of your bonuses. Okay. Note the game indicates which card you can purchase by drawing the green. Okay. After purchase, you'll receive the diamond bonus and the prestige points. At the end of the turn, if you have the type and quantity of bonuses indicated on a noble tile, you earn the tile. Which it doesn't look like I do. Okay. Okay. It's a 2 to 4 player game, and the winner is the first to 15 points. Okay. Right, okay. It seems simple enough with a couple of playthroughs. I'm glad you think it's simple because I'm completely lost. <laughs> um, colour. At least it shows you the cards you can take, like it highlights them to see if you're going, uh, what am I supposed to do here? Yeah. I I'm sure if you play a few games, it'll become a lot more apparent. Yeah, I think that's a lot of with games like this. I think that's what happens. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's take the Maggie Thatcher looking thing. Thing? Woman. The uh, game. Cards. <laughs> that's the word. Avatar. Um, we will play a two player game, I think. Uh, no two player game. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. We'll play against the popey looking fella. And has this got online play? Doesn't seem like it, mate. We'll go back after this first game and find out. So he's taken two diamond cards. Um, what do we need here? Four. four. I'm going to take a black one, a red one. 
so allow me a couple of options. Shit. Just can pick up more. I could reserve a card. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to reserve that card, I think. Now I can go. Us, ah, right. Diamond. Yes, diamond's a good shout actually. Ne when it's my next goal, I can buy this card here. Well, I can actually buy a few cards. I think I'm going to buy this one actually. Leave me no prestige. I need five. So if I go, it won't let me take more than two. So let's undo that because he's got. He's going for that same card. How can how can you tell he's going for that same card? Because he's got a lot of green. So I reckon he's going for that one. So if I reserve it, hopefully I can stop him taking it. Because there's not many greens left on here, you see. Yeah. Actually, no, I'm going to undo that because. Take that. Blue. And another red. I'll take those, yeah. Okay. Oh, hang on, what can I do? I'll go blue, red, green again. I wonder if I can get this prestige lady on the right. I only need one more blue. So how do you actually win? By getting to 15, but see the big numbers on the top left? Yeah. Basically, you need to get those to add up to 15 in your collected hands. Right. So I'm going to buy that. So that should now give me, yeah, I've, I'm winning, basically I've got two points at the moment because I've been able to buy that. Um, so what can I do now? I can't actually do much. So these gems, they don't, they don't like uh, respawn. Yeah, they do. Once you've used them to buy something, and then they get put, they back, get put back in. Yeah, right. and you're not allowed more than ten gems at any one point. So I've got the three I need there. Yeah, so basically I think the way you the way this is working is if you look at the build up on this, you pick up gems, you buy these lower cards originally to get bonuses. Um, so you might have two actual gems, right, and yeah. then you get one bonus gem. So if I was to buy this diamond card, for example, I would get a bonus diamond. Um, and then you kind of build up your stock that way to be able to afford the more cards that will give you prestige. Yeah. Um, but I think that's kind of how you aim to do it. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming there's a lot of strategy involved in this. 
I think so, so what are these gold ones for then? What do they do? They're for reserving. So if I was to buy right, it, I, I've right. used the gold one to reserve this. So I can now purchase this one. And that gives me just a bonus diamond. Yeah. And th does that bonus diamond stay there? Or does it disappear when you actually buy something using the it diamond? It disappears when you buy something with it. Um, us. Ah, see, I can't do this. See, this is where he's been clever. I, ideally, I'd want two of those green ones to then pick that one up and get a prestige point. But you can only pick up one when there's less than four. So I am going to buy that, a red, and want to pick up another diamond. black for anything yeah I could get that one so I'm gonna buy that yes yeah, so, so if you look I'm building up bonuses bonus numbers on my black one here so hopefully I can maybe go for this up here or this up here eventually um, but I can't there's no reds on the board whatsoever and there's nothing I can Actually take, but if I now reserve that card, but you won't be able to buy that card, will you? Because you've not got seven. No, but what I'm doing is I can stop him buying it, and then as I get the coin, the uh, diamonds I want, uh, the gems I want, I can then buy that card, and only I can buy it. How do you see what gems he's got though? Just click oh, yeah, on yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do I need for that? I need three black and I need seven red. So if we go that and then stock up. Oh, we haven't got any blue, so we'll stock up on the blue. So I think there's nothing here, unfortunately, that's giving me a red bonus. I'm going to continue to stock up. Got enough black already. Got diamond, and we'll go emerald. Oh, I've only two more. I can buy that. I might have to do and then get a bonus there to eventually go for that so I'm going to pick up that one oh no it looks like the bonuses do stay actually because I just used a bonus to buy that and I was able just to pick it up um or I'll have a look when I pick up this Pick up all the greens. I can only pick up one because there's less than four in the pile. Oh, if you pick up one, you'll be able to pick up. Uh, no. I can't pick another green. I'm going to need a black up there in a bit, so I'll do that. pick up a car before you return the gems. No, you only get one turn per go. So I am going to now go... I don't want to use a red. I don't really want to use that yet. Oh no, that'll get me prestige. I'm going to go for that. Build up to that.
Yeah, it's definitely not a game where you go look at the excitement of it, but it's definitely it's it is doing what the ball game needs to do, which is what I like. It's just it's, it's, the mechanics of it actually look really good. Yeah, it's solid if you like these kind of games. Yes. Definitely the reds. So that'll give me four. Go for another green. Yeah, your bonuses stay. Right, okay. So I, I want to check something because I've now got four and four of red and black. So hopefully I can pick up this uh, card on the right. For some reason, why not? Four. Four. Can you actually pick up those cards? These ones here? Yeah. Yeah, okay, but it's just putting them back. I can't actually. Can you drag it down to your pile or something? No, I've just. No, it just won't seem to let me pick them up yet, so. Do you need to reserve it first? No, it's not letting me reserve either. So obviously I'm not ready to pick that up for some reason. Um, so what do I want? I want... Pick up another diamond. Uh, emerald, sorry. That, build it up that way. Uh, pick that up. I only need three points, so actually, I need to get blacks. that one two, three, I'll go back and have a little look at why has he been able to... Oh, unless you've got to have them all in bonuses to pick those up. Yes, you have. I'm just looking. If you look at the um, shape of the numbers... Oh, yeah, the square, yeah. Yes. Right, okay. Right, I need to win this now. I've just realised he's going to go for... He hasn't won it yet. So I need... Right, okay, that's changed everything. Um... need 15... Yes, pick so up I two opals, two opals, two, uh, two black ones, and then you can pick up the three. Or I can only pick one up because it's, it's less than four there. But if I get, oh, there we go. Oh no, I need the three. If I pick that up, and I pick that up, and get my two points there, um, and I will also pick up a black just as. Oh, blue. No. No, you can pick up the. No, you've not got enough. So I can pick that up. That'll get me two. I think he's won this one. Can you only pick up one card around? Yeah. Right, he won that. But I've worked out what... Yeah, basically you get one move per turn. So you can either pick up gems. Reserve a card so only you can buy it. Take a card that's on the board, 
Um, or if you've got enough to pick up one of those noble types. Don't know why it's carrying on. Oh, there you go. So, all right, that was just points. Yeah. My first diamond set a new record. Starting score. Wait, did I actually win? You got 17. Oh! Right. I've got a feeling what it means. Okay. I just see now I won that. Once someone reaches 15 points, basically it means it's the last round. Ah, uh, yeah. So by managing to pick up that other card, I managed to beat him because I finished with more points. Whereas if I'd gone first, I'd imagine he would have won because he would have got to that 15 before it was my go. Yeah. Yeah, no, a little bit confused on that bit, but... Um, no, first game. That's all right. Yeah. So, let's have a look. So, let's have a look. Can you play... Right, okay. Leaderboards. Looks like that's your online. Or more What's the More button. That's what I'm just about to have a look at now. Ah. No, it's just selling me the game. Challenges. Know, more. Seems to be more than more. Hang on. That had another button there. Alright. Yeah, no, it's just selling us stuff. Which is fine. I don't mind that if it's a good game. Challenges. Now. Mongol invasion. You must win 15 prestige points for 15 turns. You have two bonuses of each colour for this level. Alright, oh, okay. Let's have a look so at what the challenges. So it just changes the rules of the game a bit for each challenge. Yeah, looks. this is just a single player challenge. So basically, oh, your right. goal is to get to 20 points in 15 turns. Um, so we've got two bonuses of each, so we've got to start off with two. So I would suggest maybe go and pick up a green and a diamond. Emerald, diamond. I'm going to pick up a blue for this one. Then I'm going to pick that up and end that turn. Six of those, but I can't. Three. That'll give me four. We can use that. Red. And we'll also pick up a. Another red? No. Pick up a. Black again. Pick that up and get the diamond bonus. goes to get another 10 points. I need to go for one of these up here, really. Be that one. I'm not, I'm not really got much to say about this. <laughs> <laughs> there, there isn't really much to say about it. No, it it's, seems... it's, a, it's a board game. It does what it does. Yeah. Um, 
I'm just quite surprised there's no multiplayer from what, by the looks of it, unless you can go in back into a single player game and maybe the multiplayer's embedded in there. Yeah, I'm going to have a look in a sec and see. Doesn't look I'm going to complete this first challenge. Yeah, you can. Is it not? Oh, it's to 20, not to, not to 15. Yeah, no, it's up to 20 this one, so I'm going to yeah, fail yeah. this first challenge, but... No, you could have picked up that four. No, you can't. No, it's only asking me to... Well, that... No, if that's I... it, yeah. Okay, um... I think I like the idea of that, challenges. So let's have a look, see if there is a way of playing online. Up the top, play against the... Pass and pass play. And play. No, oh, so pass it's, and play yeah, in yeah. AI. So, it is, so it's local. Yeah, it's local, local multiplayer local. only. Um, which again, it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, is this a alpha, beta, pool release? No, this is Steam? a full release, I believe. Um, but I, I like it. Um, it's... It's a tough one to sell in a way because, again, unless you're into these sort of games, this isn't going to change anyone's mind. Yeah, I'm sure you'd love it if you like these kind of games. If you like Splendor, then you'd be like, yeah, I've got Splendor on my computer now. Yeah, and I, I love these ball games. I mean, I've got, you know, I've got things like Avalon, um, Bang, Pixel, Lincoln, all, all games like that as well. Um, zombie dice. So I do like those sorts of games. So this for me, I'm like, yeah, I like this. I can play this. It is a shame there's no online multiplayer. Um, Hive, which is another game, does, and I believe Ticket to Ride does as well. Um, but at the same time, it is something you can sit down and play with your family, pass and play. Especially when the Steam Link and everything comes out, it'll be a nice, easy one to sit around the TV and play. Yeah. And it seems, you know, if that is the mechanics of the game, that's good. You're not going to lose any of the bits. Um, it makes it easier to keep control of what you're trying to count and stuff like that. So there's definitely stuff to it. But can you can you hit back here? Because there was buttons on the back on the main menu. Uh, the the to the left there, under the options. What's that? That's your. It says. Oh yeah, the leaderboards. Oh, there you go. There's leaderboards, yes. So you've so got online your, leaderboards. Yeah, that's your uh, online component, yeah. Um, so, daily. Can I see where I am on here? Am I on here? Probably not. Oh, that's Challenges leaderboards. Right, okay. Yeah. Two-player leaderboards. I've got 12,000, so I'm... Yeah, I'm not... On there, yeah, yeah, so. pretty miles away. Um, actually, let's go back, go to two-player, go daily. Let's see how many people are playing this on a regular basis. Is this brand new out? It's been out about a week, I think. So there's you. I'm 80th. It's, got, it's not, again, for a niche game, that you know, it's it's got, looks like it's got some regular players who will play it. Um, let's have a look at the total. I'm not expecting this to get many, many thousands of. Oh, I don't. I don't think it's not that kind of game. No. Um, you know but what? For those who like it, we'll play it. Yeah, and it is a shame. It'd be nice to play some of these guys online, because the people who have it are the people who want these games. Um, but there's there's nothing bad to say about it. I like the presentation. Um, it does actually feel like it gets quite easy not easy to play but it's fairly easy to understand once you're playing it um and yeah it's but i just it's definitely one i can't say yeah everyone's got to go out and get this because it's not for everyone but if you like board games you like card games yeah get it plenty of value i think 6.99 yeah that's fine which is cheaper than the board game itself probably 
I'd imagine it'll be a lot cheaper than the board game. Yeah. So if you like ball games and you haven't got room because you've got a stack of them, you don't, or you keep losing the pieces, get Splendor. Anything to add, Ian? I think that all, all that can be said has been said. Fair enough. Okay, we'll call this one then. Cheers, Ian. Cheers, Brad. <laughs>